as soon as I think of Instagram, I think there's generally three types of people on that app. You got the normal people who just got the app because, you know, it's just Instagram. Then you got the influencers who kind of make their job out of it. And lastly, you have the teenagers that listen to X and post TikToks about how they're not good enough and are acting like they're depressed all the time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that depression is something not serious at all. I'm saying that most of these kids are just spoiled kids that are tired of their boring ass lives and want some personality. So they start listening to rappers that talk about how sad they are, the Xanax they take, and how much lean they drink on a daily basis. The thing about listening to these kind of rappers is that it's all cool and shit until you start listening to them so much that your mental health actually gets worse. I used to have X's songs on repeat. His music is fire. The first time I heard it, it was from a friend online. He sent me some SoundCloud link of a song called Riot. At the time, I thought it was okay, but I didn't see the hype behind it or see why it was so special. A couple years later, I found his music again on Spotify and started to actually like listen to his songs. That's when I started to listen to his albums, Question Mark and Sad. I listened to his songs a lot at the time. When I found out that he died, I felt like his songs got even more interesting in some way. I know it sounds weird, but... The topics he talks about have a lot to do with death and shit, and the fact that he actually wasn't there made it kind of deeper in a way, because before he just sounded like some dude that has issues, and now he's actually kind of speaking facts. But as you can see in the title, I don't really listen to him anymore. And don't get me wrong, I didn't stop listening to him because I don't like his music or whatever, because as I've stated before, I do like his music. It's because even though you might not realize it at the time, the music that you listen to will affect the way you think and stuff. And it kind of makes sense. Your environment has a big effect on how you act or just are in general. I just realized I learned a lot from my dad because almost every video I got something to say about what I learned from him when I was a kid. But my dad used to tell me this thing when I was younger. Show me three of your friends and I'll tell you what kind of person you are. I didn't really agree with this at the time because if I had friends that do stupid shit, what does that have to do with me? But now that I'm older, I realize that what he's saying makes sense. Things around you affect you. It's really that simple, either positive or in a negative way. You can be the happiest person alive if you're in a house with guys that are sad all day, do drugs, and live life to a very pessimistic lens. After some time, there's a really big chance that you will also become just like them. For this exact reason, I think it's important to make friends that help you be the person you want to be and talk about the things that you are also interested in instead of shit that you don't want to be. Even though I liked X's music, I felt like my relationship with it was like kind of as a friend that has a bad influence on you. Listening to him every day kind of changed me, and even though it only changed me a little bit, I didn't like the idea of it having an effect on me, so I kind of just stopped listening to him. Now, I still listen to artists that rap about shit that I don't agree with, but I make sure that it's not the only thing I listen to. Or at least I make sure that I don't listen to them all the time. For example, if I'm in a good mood, I don't listen to sad rappers because if you listen to an artist that really knows how to make you feel an emotion, but he ended the song, you might feel sad for basically no reason while you were having a great day before that. Of course, there's some people that have the mental strength to not really be affected by that kind of stuff. Just like there's people that when they're trying to stop drinking alcohol, for example, they can stay friends with guys that drink alcohol on a daily basis and not be influenced. Now, I like to think I'm one of those people, but just to be safe, I prefer not to risk it and just not listen to him as often. I want to make sure that it's clear that the point of this video is not to tell you to stop listening to sap rappers that you enjoy listening to. I'm trying to say that if you are suffering from, like, for example, depression or just have been feeling down, it might not be a good idea to keep listening to them in that moment. It might be a good idea to take a little break from listening to this kind of rap and maybe try something that makes you happy. It's kind of the same as when you just broke up with someone and you go listen to love songs. It's just not a good idea, man. You're just going to be sobbing and being sad and shit. Just remember that what you listen to affects your mental health, and you should be good. If you like the video and want to see more of my content, make sure to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment, I always take my time to respond to them. Before I end this video, I want to talk about my Patreon. Patreon is a website where you're able to support me by contributing a small amount of money every month, starting like at a dollar. There are different tiers like you can see on my screen right now, and for every tier you get different perks and stuff, but I'm not gonna waste your time and read them all. You can check out the site, it's the first link in the description. Don't forget to like if you liked the video, leave a comment if you liked it a lot, and if you are not subscribed yet, feel free to do that too. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.